Well, good morning, everybody. It's 5 a.m. and I'm sneaking around my neighborhood. And I found one of my neighbors has put a Sony Trinitron out today to be picked up by the garbage man. It's a KV-27. And uh, from 1990s, this is a pretty darn old one, meaning it could be busted. But what I think we should do is take this thing around to the shop since it's right across the street. Maybe wipe it off, turn it on, and see what it looks like. Because if it doesn't have any problems, this is actually a pretty decent television. It's got a really cool uh, built-in stereo system here with that sound wave set up. So um, I'm just going to take this as literally across the street from my house. So <laughs> let's just go ahead now and we'll get this sucker back to the shop and see how it looks. Well, everybody, here's another look. I've got it cleaned up a little bit in my shop, and I just wanted to show you the aesthetic design. I really like this. It's almost like a profile look of its own to this uh, television. And I've not plugged it in yet, because as I said, it was outside and it was kind of wet. And it looks like we might have gotten a little scratch on the front, which you can't really see. That's a lot of shadow from the light behind it from the scratch. But that's either a scratch or something's got to be cleaned pretty heavily there, but I think it's a tiny scratch. Here's a quick look at the back. Again, this model comes from 1990 KV EXR15, 27-inch. Here's a look at the input board. I've got VHF, UHF, S video, and then two video ends for composite. So it would be RGB modifiable, most likely. Well, here goes nothing. Well, unfortunately, it appears to be dead. I mean, nothing, just a small click, no screen up power. So you can see I got it powered on here, but it's like red, green, and blue lines up here. I can't get it to do much else. You can hear it kind of trying to process stuff, but just no reaction to any buttons. Alright, so I have I have removed the speakers that I'm going to be keeping right here. But I'm going to take this TV back with the neighbors now and drop it back off at the trash. Oh man, that son of a gun's heavy, but it's back here. I'll just let the garbage take it. I think the water got into it. It's just too old. Well, fortunately that CRT has seen its better days and wound up getting picked up by the garbage man but I did give it another chance to at least maybe live on if it powered on but when it doesn't power on like that it's too much of a risk that I'll just be getting into something that is a big project to fix but it does show you that there are still tons of consumer CRTs uh, all over the place at least where I live here in the southeast of the United States. So if you are looking for a consumer set, always check around garbage days if there's something on the street and also keep checking those ads on like Craigslist and other things like Facebook and other marketplaces because a lot of times they're still on there for free. Thanks again for watching today. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you guys next time with some more retro content.